y'all. So we have got a quick leg day. Um, should be about 38, 40 minutes-ish, but we're gonna work with AMRAPs today. So as many rounds as possible. So you're gonna move at your pace for the set amount of reps um, within the set amount of times and keep going through as many times through as you possibly can within those seven minutes, which is gonna be our AMRAP time. All right, so weight, you want probably a set of medium to heavy dumbbells. I'm gonna move more towards medium. I have had a stomach bug for the past couple days that I got from the kiddo who got from school. So I am not feeling my strongest, fully back to normal or anything like that. So I'm gonna try to stick with just those medium weights so that I don't overdo it, right? I wanna ease back into it, get some of that strength back because I was completely drained for a good, I mean, three days. I think I walked on the treadmill one day and I swear I about passed out and then did nothing the other two days. Um, so medium weights for me. So your first three exercises that you're gonna do over and over for seven minutes um, are gonna be a suitcase squat, dumbbell squat jump, and then box jump. So your suitcase squat, you're just gonna set up right here and act like you're picking up two suitcases down. So feet are right under your hips, right? Right there, pick them up and stand up. Five of those, then we're gonna come a slight bit wider and we're gonna add a little bit of jump to it. Five right there. If you can't do the jump, just come up to a calf raise and then we're gonna drop them. Box jump or step up. Box back, so I don't have to move as far for it. So when you do a box jump, remember, full foot on the box, jump on, stand up, step or jump off. All right? So we have five suitcase squats, five dumbbell squat jumps, ten of the box jumps. Take a rest as you need. Seven minutes to go over and over. You may want to start out a little lighter to let your body warm up, get used to it. Um, get used to the movements and then increase that weight as you feel comfortable. But let's start out with just some warm up movements. Start your watches. I'm still feeling a little like, oh meh. Don't feel the greatest still. Stomach bugs are no fun. All right, let's start out a little wider. I want us to squat down, hold it for a second, stand up. Up. Good, go to your depth. Good. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one, hold it down. I want you to place those elbows in those knees and sink down. Sit, sit that butt down. Pull that butt up a little, drop one hand, and reach the other up to the sky. And drop and switch. Good. Place those hands to the floor, lift that butt up. Drop that butt back down. Butt up. Back down. Good. Two more. Leggings. All right, back in neutral, take a foot back, down, twist the opposite direction, in switch. Turn on that fan, it is toasty out. Good, go into your depth in that lunge. Good work. Good. Two more each side. One more each way. Good. Let's open up those hips. So walk forward, open up, step, step. Good job. Little baby warm up here. Three more each side. Two more each side. One, 
one, toe touch, so reach forward. You don't have to touch that toe. Good. Loosen up those hamstrings. Three more each way. Two. One. Good work. I'm going to turn on this fan. All right. Seven minutes. We start in 10 seconds. All right. Five suitcase squats, five dumbbell squat jumps, or no dumbbell, dumbbell, and then 10 box jumps. Let's go seven minutes as many times through. Come on. Two, three. So if you're faster than me, great. If you're slower than me, great. If you're the same pace as me, great. Two, three. Set those down. Box jumps or step ups. Full foot on the box. Good 
work. Slightly wider than your hips. Hinge. 
Shoot those hips forward. Five of them. Again, remember difference. Kettlebell is that we're going hinge. Someone chops you at the waist. Shoot those hips forward, tuck tailbone. We are not squatting and shooting forward. Froggies. 15. Good work. Move at your pace.
10. Not about moving fast, it's about completing what you can. Remember. Goal is not to work fast. Quality reps. As many times through as you can. Good job. 
breath, taking my time. When I feel ready, jumping back in. I'm on jump lunges. Good. Come on.
good job. Keep going. 120 left. Hold it. If you need to drop weight here, go lower or drop it completely. Then do that. Good work. Come on, Ash. 
think. And stomach bug hits Saturday, Sunday, no, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Monday, I tried to walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes and I swear I almost passed out. I was like, nope, that's it. Not doing anything. Sunday, I did nothing. Yesterday, I did nothing. Today, I took it medium easy and wholly kicked my ass. 
So just as a remembrance to listen to your body, right? I've been off for three days, well, four days technically, three with a sickness. So I knew there was no way in hell that I was gonna come back into some heavy ass weights, moving at a fast pace, my normal pace, working with my normal weights, right? I knew there was no way I was gonna do that. I was going to either pass out, overwork myself, not be able to do anything tomorrow, right? Have to literally quit halfway through. So I knew to take it to a medium weight and take rest as I need them and to listen to my body, right? So listen to your body. It is okay to take a day off, to take two days off, to take three days off, to let yourself recover from a mental or a physical illness, right? That is okay. And when you come back, don't expect to come back in full force just like you were before. Give yourself some grace and allow yourself to start off a little easier and work your way back up, all right? Don't beat yourself over about it, right? So I'm not gonna beat myself over about it. I put in some good work, I moved my body, I definitely kicked my own ass, right? But it is okay that I'm not where I was last week. That's all right, and it's okay if you aren't either, okay? I'm proud of you, so be proud of yourself. Stay safe, stay moving, stay healthy. I love you all, bye.